There's a mysterious dent in our planet's magnetic field, and it's slowly growing. It stretches from South America to Africa. And what's horrifying is that it's weakening Earth's protection shield against the Sun. They call it the South Atlantic Anomaly. And while most people on Earth don't feel its effects for now, satellites and spacecraft passing through it already do. Deep inside our planet, there's a giant ball of molten iron and nickel, the outer core. The metal inside is so hot that it's constantly moving and swirling. This movement creates electrical currents, and when electricity flows, it generates a magnetic field. This field surrounds the entire planet like a protective bubble. Without it, life on Earth would be in serious trouble. The Sun blasts out charged particles called solar winds that could destroy our atmosphere over time. Luckily, the magnetic field deflects most of these particles, keeping us safe. Other planets without magnetic fields like Mars lost their magnetic fields, got their atmospheres stripped away, leaving them dry and lifeless. And also, without the magnetic field, our technology and equipment gets all messed up. Satellites, power grids, and even airplanes could get hit by intense radiation. This would lead to communication failures, GPS errors, and blackouts. And now, something strange has been going on underneath the African continent. An enormous blob of dense rock deep inside the Earth, called the African Large Low Shear Velocity Province, has been growing and messing the magnetic field up. Scientists think that this weird rock-like thing is messing with the flow of the outer core disturbing the magnetic field above it. That disturbance is what weakens the shield over the South Atlantic. It's like a crack in a windshield. It might not shatter immediately, but the weak spot spreads over time. Now, NASA is watching it closely. Satellites passing through this anomaly experience random glitches and shutdowns. Sometimes their circuits short-circuit from high-energy solar particles. Mission operators have to turn off systems before entering the danger zone, and it's only getting worse. The anomaly is drifting westward. This means that new areas could fall under its influence. What's even worse? It seems like it's been splitting in two, which means our planet has been developing two weak spots instead of one. And here's something crazy. Some scientists believe that this entire thing is part of a long-term cycle that's been repeating for over 11 million years. And that cycle would make our magnetic poles flip. North could literally become south, and vice versa. Earth's magnetic poles have flipped before, although the last time that happened was 780,000 years ago, way before humans started roaming around the planet. These reversals happen every few hundred thousand years. Now, some wonder if our anomaly is the beginning of the next flip, but scientists aren't sure if we're overdue or just in a temporary phase. Luckily, if a flip were to happen, it wouldn't be instant. It would take thousands of years. But as the field weakens, more radiation would reach Earth's surface. It would mess up not just technology and equipment, but also us, and even animal migration patterns. Many animal species use Earth's magnetic field to navigate. And they even have some potential culprits that could have caused this weird thing. There are two massive, mysterious blobs of hot, dense material deep inside our planet. One is under Africa, and the other formed under the Pacific Ocean. They're called large, low-velocity provinces. Basically, huge underground rock-like formations. Both blobs are gigantic. Each one is hundreds of times taller than Mount Everest and stretches across thousands of miles. They make up 6% of the entire Earth's volume and are one of the biggest geological features inside our planet. They're also super weird and could be structured more like trees than some lumpy mountains. Scientists imagined them as softened rock at first, but based on recent imaging techniques, it looks like they might actually have jagged, branch-like structures extending upward. These are like branches of a tree, 
they could be feeding hotspot volcanoes at the surface, like the ones in Hawaii. Scientists still don't know exactly what these blobs are. However, they believe they control a lot of what happens on Earth's surface. Stuff like volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, and, of course, changes in the magnetic field. They may also be linked to supervolcanoes and mass extinctions. The eruptions that they could cause could be like the ones that happened in ancient times and possibly wiped out entire species. If the blobs are connected to supervolcanoes, they might have had absolutely insane disasters in the past and might even cause more troubles in the future. But they also help us control plate tectonics, which affect earthquakes and mountain formation. They might also contain material from Earth's early days, or even from Theia. That was the mysterious planet that crashed into Earth and helped form the Moon about 4.5 billion years ago. Finally, Earth literally breathes because of these blobs, which is insane. The Sun and the Moon's gravitational pull stretches the Earth slightly, making it rise and fall like a breath. But now, scientists found that this tidal movement is slightly off-kilter over the blobs. They literally interfere with how the Earth's mantle moves. These two huge structures actually actively affect how our planet behaves, which is super dangerous. We only recently learned how these blobs actually appeared on our Earth. It's all because of the sunken ocean crust. Over hundreds of millions of years, parts of the ocean floor have sunk deep into the Earth's mantle. These slabs of rock stacked up at the bottom. This way, they slowly formed these massive blobs of recycled crust. Scientists haven't agreed on whether the blobs are heavier or lighter than the rest of the mantle. One study suggested they are denser, which would mean they're made of heavier material. Another study suggested they are less dense, meaning they could be hot, rising plumes of lighter rock. The African blob is suspected to be one of the causes of the South Atlantic anomaly, but scientists are still investigating how exactly they are connected. Since the African blob is basically a giant dense blob sitting on top of the outer core, it could cause troubles. The African blob is hotter and possibly chemically different from the surrounding mantle. It could be disturbing the outer core, affecting the magnetic field, weakening it. Another crazy thing is that they might contain an ocean of water locked inside their minerals. Scientists discovered that huge amounts of water, as much as all of Earth's oceans combined, are trapped in minerals deep in the mantle. One mineral, ringwoodite, can store water inside its crystal structure, but it's only possible under extreme pressure and super hot temperatures, like in the deep mantle. So there could be vast hidden water reservoirs inside the blobs. Not literal bodies of water, of course, but tons of little water molecules weirdly locked away deep beneath the surface. If this water were somehow released, it could potentially trigger massive volcanic activity or even affect global climate. But the blobs are not the only factor for this weird anomaly. Other factors also contribute, like the tilt of Earth's magnetic field, changes in the core's iron flow, and even plate tectonics. However, the large provinces are making things worse. They keep evolving somehow. Scientists think that it might be because massive columns of hot rock called mantle plumes are rising from deep inside the Earth. These plumes could be pushing the giant pieces of Earth's crust like tectonic plates around, especially in the Pacific Ocean. If this is true, then these giant underground blobs aren't just sitting still. They're moving, changing, and shaping the Earth's surface all the time. Almost like they're alive. So what does this mean for the future? If the African blob continues evolving, the South Atlantic anomaly might get larger or shift further, affecting more satellites and spacecraft. Right now, there are still more questions than answers. Every new data point, 
helps predict how it will evolve and whether we need to worry about the worst-case scenarios. For now, NASA isn't panicking, but they're watching very closely. Because whether it's a harmless shift or a sign of something bigger, one thing is clear. Something deep inside Earth is changing. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.